Y'all, I want you to consider this. That good thing you trying to do, that goal you trying to hit, you trying to figure out why you can't do it. Oh, you attribute it to, it's just hard to do, right? Not everybody gets to do it. It's hard. You just got to try harder. You just got to do something different. You may have attributed it to them, right? You may have said with them, you're like, oh, they just don't like me. They just don't want me. They just hating on me. They just looking for something different. You could be thinking, oh, it's the devil. The devil trying to stop me. They don't want me, Satan and his crew, to prosper. You trying to figure out why you can't break through, why you can't break into this thing. Why is it so hard? You don't try it 50 different ways and it still just never reaches a certain level of success. You trying to figure out why. Or you keep starting and you keep stopping and it feel like you keep going through these cycles and you could just never get that thing really going. You ever have a project where you kind of keep revisiting from time to time, but you can never really get it off the ground? What is it? Is it a book? Is it a website? Is it an app? You don't thought about going to school. You don't thought about a certification. You don't try it and you start, you stop, or it never quite happens. You try to break into an industry. You're trying to break into a job field. You're trying to do something and you're just like, what is going on? I want you to consider this. Maybe it's God. Maybe it's God shutting the door to that thing. What if I told you that? It's a shut door. Why is it a shut door? Because God says, you're not ready. It's not that that's not what he wants you to do. Because you keep getting drawn to it. You keep getting led to it. You keep going back to that thing. Like it's, it just stays right there beneath the surface. And you revisit it. You don't. I mean, you sit on it. You sleep on it. You go back to it. Oh, yeah. Because God wants you to keep that thing at the forefront. Because, yeah, it is the thing that God wants you to do. It's just not the thing he wants you to do right now because you're not ready for it. He wants to prepare you for it. He wants to use you in it. See, he wants you to show up a different way. He wants you to be able to maintain it once you in it. Oh, he want to be all up in that thing. That's why he's bringing it to you because he got a specific objective he wants to be able to meet in that thing. Oh yeah. See, what you don't realize is God actually created you for that thing. <laughs> he did. You just ain't ready to show up in the identity he has for you in it. Maybe you're not mature enough to handle the weight and the responsibility of what's there. Maybe he knows what occupies that territory that you're trying to get into. And he needs you to learn how to spiritually war. He needs to sharpen your discernment. He needs to teach you some things before you go there and do that thing. Because you may look at it as a small thing, a small step, but it's actually leading to something bigger. See, you attributing it to everybody else. But I want you to consider if God says it's a closed door, baby, it's a closed door. You ain't getting through it. <laughs> See, you got to start looking at things from a spiritual realm, from a spiritual sense, right? You got you to gotta start looking at what, the Lord is potentially doing in this situation and how Satan could be moving in a situation. You see, you keep your eyes on the natural and you're missing things. You're missing it. So if you're ever having struggle trying to do something that you know is positive, that you know is productive, that you feel in your soul is what you're supposed to be doing. You keep revisiting it to time to time, but you never meet any real success or any real progress. I want you to take that thing to the Lord and say, is this what you want me to do? And what do I need to do to make forward movement in it, to actually have it have progress. I have found myself in so many cycles over the year because the Lord wanted me to have exposure to the things. The Lord wanted me to be able to have 
a preview of what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to start stirring up the gift that was in me, but it wasn't time. It wasn't his timing. You see, there is a time set for you to step into all that God has for you, for him to launch you. But if it ain't time, baby, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you gonna have a seat until it's time. Don't mean you never get to kind of peek behind the curtain. Oh, but if it's not the God, God's time, you're not going to step into the fullness of it. Bring that thing before the Lord. Ask him, is this of you? And what do I need to do to move into that with you? Talk soon.